What up guys, Miguel here of Yugatech, and we are back at it again with an unboxing and hands-on. This time, we have the Vivo V29 5G, the spiritual successor to the Vivo V27 5G, which was launched at the starting price of around 25,000 pesos. We can expect the V29 5G to go for around the same price, but what comes in the box? Let's jump in. Getting into the box, and by the way, this is a nice textured feeling box with a lot of embossing all around. All right, so when we first get into the box, we're greeted by the unit itself. It's got a film on, so we will take that out like so. And then, wow, dazzling. Let's set that aside, power it on. Next, we have some EMI stickers, which we do not need, do not show. Uh, as well as the tray for the phone. And then below that, we have a jelly case, a clear case. If depending on where you're from, you call it either a jelly case or a clear case because it's clear. Next, we have some warranty cards and a quick start guide over here. And below that, we have a USB type C to a cable. Below that, we have SIM ejector tool shaped like a guitar pick. But I guess V for Vivo. Yeah. Or it's a heart. Or it's a heart. It could be a heart too. Okay. Right below that is this 80 watt Vivo flash charging brick. Okay. Now we set all of that aside. Okay. So here's the Vivo V29 5G powered on in all its glory. Our review unit is in the top configuration with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. It is, however, also available with 8 gigabytes of RAM and either 128 or 256 gigs of internal storage. But I did hear locally that we would be getting a 12 gigs of RAM plus 512 gigs of internal storage variant, so that's pretty cool. There is no expandable storage on this device, so do keep that in mind if you utilize that feature. For display, we get a 6.78 inch 120Hz curved AMOLED display that looks pretty good out of the box. We don't need a full review to realize that this V29 5G does not feature stereo speakers. Instead, we get quite the powerful mono downward firing speaker here at the bottom. Next to the USB Type-C port and dual SIM card tray. Volume rocker and power button on the right side. Move over to the rear, and I'm sure y'all have noticed that purple fairy colorway. More on that and other colorways in our future review. The true star here in the rear is that huge camera module that houses the V29 5G's triple camera setup consisting of a 50 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And here's a quick portrait sample using the main cameras. For selfies, the Vivo V29 5G features another 50 megapixel sensor, and here's a selfie sample from that. Powering the Vivo V29 5G is a 4,600 lithium ion cell capable of 80 watt fast charging with the included brick in the box. Vivo markets that the included brick can charge the V29 5G up from 0 to 100% in 17 minutes. No performance benchmarks in this hands-on, but we can share that it features a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G 5G SoC, a 6 nanometer chipset that features an Adreno 642L GPU. For pricing details, at the time this video was recorded, we currently do not have the official pricing for the unit on our local shores, but I'll make sure that the official pricing and configurations are posted or pinned in our comment section on the 22nd of September because that's when this thing launches. So watch out for that. What do you guys think of the Vivo V29 5G so far? And what do you hope to see in our full review? Let us know in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video or found it informative or helpful, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see ya, and you, in the next one. I don't know where to look.
There's so many cameras. And that has been a say. Yeah.